Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rathod. I have done the MD in forensic medicine and today I will discuss about identification from scars. Identification from scars, by definition, it is a fibrous tissue covered by epithelium without any hair follicles, sweat glands or pigment. It is produced by healing of a wound. Scar is formed only if the injury is at the level of dermis and below the dermis level. So any injury which extends below dermis and muscular layer, scar tissue is formed. Examination of scars should include number, where how many scars are present, site, size, shape, which shape is there, how many is there, where it is present, level it based with body surface, means above or below any anatomical landmarks, fixed or it is free, smooth, whether it is smooth or irregular of the surface, color, what is the color, presence of, of glistening layers, whether it is tender, that is, if it is painful to touch, condition of the ends, whether it is tapering or not, and this all will in comes to by examining this, we'll come to know whether the, the direction of the original wound or what is the wound which has caused the scars. So a few of the images of the scar tissues which is seen, we can see that there is glistening is present. And few scar tissues may hypertrophy and elevate from the surface, and few scar tissue may decrease uh, may may not elevate and it will just below the surface of the skin. Now coming to characteristics of scars, scars from lacerated wounds which are caused by blunt weapons and infected wounds are firmer, irregular and prominent and attached to deeper tissues. Since they are caused by blunt weapons, they are irregular in shape. Incised wound which is caused by sharp weapons produce linear scars. Stab wounds caused by knife produces oval or elliptical or triangular or irregular scars which are usually depressed in which are depressed to the surface. Bullet wounds cause circular depressed scars. Scars from scars, scars which are caused by the hot or water or any chemical liquid chemicals causes spotted appearance because it spills over the surface. Vaccination scars causes circular or oval in shape or flat to slightly depressed in shape. Growth and erosion of scars. Scars produced in childhood grow in size, especially if situated on the chest or limbs area. So the scar which is found in children may not be of same size as it grows with the body. Scars can be erased easily by excision or by skin grafting. Now coming to age of the scars. If the scar is firm and it has reddish to bluish, it is color, it is usually of five to six days. If it is pale, soft and sensitive to touch and it is tender it is painful when touched it may be of two weeks to two months of of scar if it's tough brownish glistening and wrinkled or little tender then it is about two to six months if it is tough white glistening and non-tender then it is usually more than six months of age so fresh scars are usually tender and as the age as the time progresses the tenderness decreases and it becomes tough or white to glistening surface. Now coming to molecular importance of scars, first one is its identification of injury. So scars is one of the feature which is included as an identification feature of any person. So in medical legal documents, a scar tissue is used as a form of identification mark. Shape of the scar may indicate the nature of weapon or agent that caused the injury. Age of the scar indicates a time of inflection of injury, which may have value in size circumstantial evidence. If a person is disfigured by scar by assault, it constitutes grievous assault that comes under 322 IPC and it is usually punishable up to 10 years of age, 10 years of imprisonment. Stray gravidarum and linear albicans, which is one form of scar tissue formed during pregnancy, may indicate the previous pregnancy in the females. To charge an enemy with assault, a person may attribute scar due to disease or, or those of wounds and may tell that the person was has been assaulted. So to inflict false charges on the some person. Scars on wrist or throat may indicate previous attempts at suicide. So person who is attempting suicide, he may have multiple scars on his wrist or on his neck. Lineal needle scars indicates of IV drug abusers and depressed scars on skin purpose may be present. These are my references. Thank you.